To set your company up in Collector Pro, you're going to start in the Maintenance menu and select Criteria. Here you're going to determine the setups for your company in Collector Pro. So you'll start with days past due. How many days late do you want an account to be before it falls into collections? You'll want to say whether or not you're going to include late charges only. Those are accounts where the customer has paid their past due but maybe not paid the late fees associated. So do you want an account to stay in collections because of a late fee? So if so, you would check that. If you want to include write-offs, if you pursue your deficient balances, you may want to include write-offs. Side notes only, if a customer has an outstanding delinquent balance for a side note, do you want to collect on that? Any fees, bad check fees, fees associated with a due date change, do you want to include those accounts in your collection system? Bad debt accounts, insurance accounts, you can call on people owing insurance and you can determine the days past due that they need to be or the days till they owe their collections or insurance payment. Do you want to include leases? If you are a leasing agent, then you could check that. The system is going to automatically requeue collections, and this is going to tell Collector Pro to keep an account in this queue under all circumstances. So if the customer is in this queue, then it's going to remain in this queue until it's out of collection. So every time you run your report, if they're past due or in the collection system for any reason, it's going to stay in the specific queue it's assigned to rather than move somewhere else. You can set the maximum promise to pay days and hold days. So if you're working with collections, you probably don't want to go any higher than a 30-day promise or a maximum hold day of 10 days because that's going to take that customer out of your active collections lists and you'll have no contact with them for that amount of time. Treat your promise to pays as stacks. This is going to allow you to add more than one promise to pay in the system at a time. So if the customer is delinquent three payments, you could set up promises for those three payments. You can move down and say how you're going to calculate your delinquency in the system. This It's going to default to the past due calculation from Fusion. If you wanted to change that to oldest invoice, you can. Then you're going to select companies uh, that you want to include. More than likely, your finance company will be if you have multiple companies, the finance company will be the one you select. Uh, if you have multiple finance companies, you can select all of them. Just select Add Company and check the companies that you need to add to your list. If you need to remove them, you can come here and just click Remove, uncheck the one that you want to take off the list and click OK. Then you can view your current queues. So if you needed to add to a queue or something like that, you'll know what you already have. You don't want to duplicate a name. So you can see here, you start with broad names like Lot 6, and then you could do Lot 6A, Lot 6B. Um, but this is your criteria page, and you can see how you're going to set up your company in Collector Pro. Once you've got all your parameters chosen, click Save and it'll give you a message saying that you've saved your record and then your criteria has been locked down.